one of the things that often comes to mind for me is the power of a domino. When I was growing up, my brother and I spent all our summer at my grandparents' farm in Barnard, Missouri. Yes, it's as small as it sounds. There was probably 30 some people, no stoplight, but there was a grain elevator where my grandfather always took us to get overpriced snacks. So it was fantastic time in my life. But one of the things my brother and I did all summer long before everyone was staring at iPads all summer is we put domino mazes all around the house. It was like this fantastic thing that we did. And we knew that if somebody slammed a door in the wrong way, sneezed in the wrong way, or even just looked at our dominoes in the wrong way, all this time and energy we had spent to put these dominoes together would come crashing down. Recently, I heard this, this TED talk on the power of a domino, and they said that one domino, the power from the pressure on one domino to knock over the next has the power to move over one and a half times its space and make that next one go. So it's a one and a half times bigger. As I was listening to this and thinking through this, I was like, wow, that's really powerful. That's really impactful. They said, by the time that you continue to take one domino, put it next to the next domino, and then the next and continue to make that size one and a half times its size each time. By the time you hit the 26th domino, the power from the first domino has the power to knock over the Empire State Building. That, a lot of power. And it only came from one small sneeze, door slam, or someone looking at the domino wrong to make that go. And so what I'm going to encourage you today is to find your first domino. Okay, that's what I need you to do. What's the first domino that we can knock over so that your service department starts creating this profit that we know can actually be there? So as I mentioned, I need you to have a paper, a pen, and a good attitude, and we're going to get to it. The first thing I want you to think about is, Trevor's ready to go. The first Trevor's thing I need ready. you to think about is answer the question, do you keep track of all of the inventory in your service department? On a scale of one to five, rate yourself. One is we are a dumpster fire, okay? That's where we're at, we are a dumpster fire. And five is, Sarah, if there were gold stars being given out, I would have it right now, okay? I'll send you gold stars. I don't know, I'm open to that. So one being a dumpster fire, five being I'm a superstar gold star for me in my service department. Do you keep track of all of the inventory in your service department? You're like, but Sarah, inventory in the service department? Sure, I have inventory in sales. Sure, I have inventory in parts, but inventory in the service department? That's insane. Your inventory in the service department is your time. That's it, that's inventory. Think about it for just a second. In the service department, we buy eight hours of inventory every single day from each technician that we have. And over the course of those eight hours, there are times that we just lose inventory. What would be the effect if we just simply lost inventory in any other department? Could you imagine coming into your dealership having all of these RVs on the lot. And let's say that over the course of each day, you lost one unit on your lot. So you had eight to start with and every single day you lost one. You're like, you know what, Sarah, that's no big deal for us. We've got RVs for days. No, I know how the inventory situation is. That's not the case. We don't have RVs. What would you do in that situation? You would be like, oh, oh my gosh, Sarah, we would stop everything. We would call the police. We would file a police report and we would figure out why our inventory, our RVs kept going missing every single day. But here's the deal. In your service department, you're like, well, it just happened, Sarah. Inventory just simply goes missing. What? That's insane. When we work with a dealership, we always say we track time by the 10th of an hour or every six minutes. We know where every six minutes of every technician's day is going in our dealership because time is our inventory. Now on that piece of paper you have, I want you to figure out for your dealership specifically, what is the effect of losing one hour per day per technician? Oh, you know how easy it is to lose one hour a day per technician. You know, when the technicians pull out their phone to look something up and they end up scrolling through Facebook or Instagram for a huge amount of time. Maybe they go on a smoke break or maybe they're looking for the units that they need to get their hands on. I don't care what it is. There's all of these things every single day that are taking time away or your inventory away. So I want you to go through this exercise with me really quickly. Now, 
The first thing I need you to write down is the number of technicians you have in your service department. I'm going to use the example of three technicians. Let's say that I have three technicians in my service department and for the sake of easy math, we have a labor rate of $100 an hour, okay? So three technicians and $100 an hour. If I were to lose one hour per day per technician, that would mean I would lose $100 of potential revenue. Now, let's say over the course of the week, we work five days a week in our service department. So let's take our labor rate and multiply it by five. That would tell me that over the course of the week, per technician, I lost $500. In this hypothetical dealership I have, we have four weeks every single month. So I want you to take your labor rate times five, and then we're going to multiply it by four. So again, in my hypothetical dealership, I'm gonna take that 500 and multiply it by four, telling me that I lost $2,000 a month if I lost one hour a day per technician. Then I'm going to say in our hypothetical dealership, we can keep this shop busy 10 months out of the year. Now, if you wanna go for 12, go for it, but I'm from Kansas City and I need really, really easy math. So I'm gonna take my $2,000 and multiply it by 10. And then that tells me that over the course of a year, I have lost $20,000 by simply losing one hour a day per technician. But here's the deal. I said I had three technicians. So over the course of the year, if I lost three technicians one hour a day, that means that I lost 60 thousand dollars not of gross money because i already paid my bills but of net money that should have been in your pocket so rate yourself on a scale of one to five how are you doing at keeping track of all of your inventory